boy is, who knows, D3 maybe? Yeah, a little bit of, quite a bit of carrying on there. Oh, that's probably D1. Yep. Are you hearing it through the cam or through the phone keys? Yeah. So there's our beautiful D1. We're going to show you where he's sitting. He's sitting in this, above all this, power equipment, transformers, and all this sort of stuff. And he is up and over. He what? Well, he does, but you know when Dad's around, he might sit. Maybe. And we're going to get a picture of Pa over there. Pumpkin number two. Yeah. Well, it's you're right. It's like, where do you go next, right? We got we have BR guarding D2 over there, and we have Ezra guarding D1, I guess, over here. Yeah, maybe. Okay, so but what? Yeah. So but what? Yes. Yes. Okay. So uh, Bogat just had a thought that. Um, you know, that's D1. Yeah, they're pretty sure. So you know how D1 and D3 hang out together? Right, because um, Big Red has D2 down on the arts quad. Yeah. yeah. I mean, she did before we came up this way. Um, so I'm guessing D3 is around here somewhere. So I'm going to go look to see. Oh, okay. Got it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, she, so the, um, D2, if you go to the Big Red Barn, she's in, you have to step back, like, get into the parking lot area, don't walk right in the, you know, driveway, and then you'll see her way on the top of a pine tree, and then she'll come around and 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 she'll come Christine might go down to the arch quad, Paul. Okay. What? Christine might go down to the arch quad. Okay, and you're going to scan the swamp, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to go up and then work my way back down. Okay. All right, so I'm going to stay, I'm going to stay here with this guy here, and I'm going to keep an eye on uh, the trees back behind Shokoff and, okay. and that direction to the west. Oh man, I tell you, this morning I'm just been walking straight into the sun all morning. Okay, I'm putting you guys back on my ear. Man, my ear is all sticky now. Every time I, you know, I glue them to the phone and then I pull them off and stick them in my ear, it's, I don't know, going to have fruit flies hanging around my ear pretty soon.
Well, I can go check the stadium. All right, so, yeah, so, Boggett will check the... Okay, thank you. So Bogat is talking to D3 to try to coax itself, coax it out and show itself to her. You know, these guys take turns. D3 is not always the most vocal. I know. So... Who do we think this is up on the pole here, D1? Yeah, that's what you guys said. So, Keys, what does the chat say? Okay. Yeah, but can you see the belly band? Okay. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, boy. My goodness. Yeah, I know. That's the thing is that D where D1 is, D3 is oftentimes. They like to play together. I mean, I think they take turns playing together. We saw a bit of that yesterday, but there was always one of them. One is always kind of the odd man out, it seems. It's not always the same bird, but... All right, so do people want me to move on here, or are we good for them? All right, well, I guess I'll, I'll probably tag along with you when you start swinging by here. So Bogget is heading toward, uh, coming down toward Shokoff. All right, it's 8.30. And Dad is still just a little light dot across the valley. And, uh... Okay, so I'm going to... D3 